Okay, uh, setting the factions, it did not work. Um, uh, he, like, literally kills cats and just about everything he tries to come across. Uh, but I did go to the mod author's uh, website, and I was looking at posts that other users had made, and one of them uh, came up with uh, what he thinks... I don't think it's necessarily like an absolute fix. It's more like a workaround. Uh, since the game uses data... Now, I haven't tested this. I'm, well, I'm kind of testing it now. So I don't know if it works, but I thought I would show you um, how he did it. Um, so basically, the game uses data, and um, there's programming code that looks at that data and does certain things based on the values it finds. Um, and that would be, you know, that could be anything from, uh, like, with ballistics to how far a bullet travels, whether it loses. I mean, of course, uh, with physics, things lose velocity. I mean, they'll lose uh, velocity changes after distance. Um, so a bullet may not have, or a ballistic uh, uh, shell or bl a ballistic object may not have as much impact far away as it does close. Um, and then, of course, you would need a larger, a larger caliber. So, um, basically, it looks like what he did, uh, we're going to go in here, and this is X-Edit, right? So, I brought up um, FO4 Edit. It's basically X-Edit, but uh, it works for pretty much the Bethesda games. So, um, I brought this up. Uh, Auto Mines is in here, but I'm not going to look for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going I'm I'm to deselect all plugins, because I don't want to load anything up at Auto Mines. So, I'm going to actually type in Auto up here in the filter. And you see where it says Auto Mines ESP. I'm just going to select that one. Now you can do this if you've got like a lot of plugins. Like let's say you've got more because XSET only only handles 255 plugins. So let's say you've got uh, three or four hundred plugins, including Light. Uh, it will not automatically create an unsupported merge patch. But what you can do is select blocks. So if you if you organize your mods based on what they do, like all your texture mods together, um, all of your gameplay mods, all of your, uh, um, like your previs, pre-combined mods, um, things like that, your environmental change mods, um, like what adds new locations. If you group those together, then you can select those and then create little patches for each section of your load order. So if you take your load order and you break it down by categories. And I know it can get confusing because, you know, you're thinking, oh my gosh, there's all this data, there's all this different stuff. I don't know what it does. I'm not sure if it's going to work. And true, th the quality is different. And the way they code things are different. There is some similarities because they will generally look at what someone else has done before. So if that's a good example, then and a good solid example, then uh, that will kind of propagate down the system. Uh, okay, so, um, all right, so see we have auto mines up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to where it says non-player character or NPC. And this is the data that defines NPCs. And you can see these are the different types of records that, uh, that holds data that the game uses. Um, I tried the faction thing. That didn't work. Um, you have so many different things here. Um, but we're going to focus just on the NPC character. And if you take a look at Damaged Auto Mine, that's the one you find. What you want to do is you want to scroll down to AI Data. Let's see. Right here. Okay. AI Data. Now, I've already changed this. See where it's got AI Data. Um, and what I did in the, the what, he, what this what this guy see AI data what he suggested in the agro in the agro fields or the agro record agro fields change attack radius. I'm assuming this is like an agro radius. So he had this at two thousand. He suggested making it zero, um, and that is supposed to tone that little guy down. Where, he, yeah, he yeah he won't attack like 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 he I think he attacked. Or he triggered an attack on a scavenger who wasn't hostile, and I think he—I think he's got a detect life cloak, and that might cause one point damage, 
which may be or may cause uh, zero point damage, but damage nonetheless. So that's what's triggering when he gets around people. That's what's triggering them to attack. So I changed his aggro radius to zero, uh, which is what that particular person suggested. And uh, this is what I'm trying out now. So so far he hasn't attacked. I had to resurrect the cat because he killed it. Um, I actually resurrected it twice. Um, this time I walked past the cat and he didn't attack it. So uh, I'm hoping that's the fix. Now once you make this change, what you want to do is you want to go in here. You can double click on it. And it's basically going to ask you, do you want to, do you know what you're doing or do you not know what you're doing? And this is just a, it's just a general safety check. It's not anything major. Changing, changing some data can cause crashes, especially if the game doesn't edit for bad data. And it, 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 it doesn't in all, in all cases. Um, so for now, you're just going to say, yes, I know what I'm doing. And then it allows you to change this number. So it actually, before it said like 2,000, so you just go in here, do zero, right? You hit enter, and I didn't really make a change to it, but um, when you do, when you close this out, uh, so we're just going to change this, but we're not really going to save it. So um, hit enter. You can now see over here that the plugin is a little bit darker. It's in bold. This means that you've modified this plugin. Now, I've modified this plugin directly. Another way to do this would be to copy this as an override, if I'm not mistaken, uh, into, and you can copy this into a new plugin and really create your own patch, or you can have uh, your separate patch file. I've got a separate patch file that I copy overrides into, and that way I don't change the original data. If for some reason you mess the original, because this is going to modify the ESP directly. Uh, if you mess this up, all you have to do is delete it and re or re-extract it and replace it or delete it and then just re-extract the mod. Uh, so you can see how this is how I, now this is kind of uh, bold. Now when I close this out, it's basically going to say, see that's got a check here and it's basically said, these have changed. Do I want to save this? If I click OK, it's going to save that aggro radius of 1 instead of 0. Anything you don't want to update directly or, or save changes to, just deselect it. All right, And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, it's in the game, so once you're in the game, um, uh, let's see, there he is. So, he, he's the, so now it looks like, and I don't know why his name didn't change to Sparky, so I'm going to have to go in and directly rename him. But, so now, his aggro radius is zero. He still follows, you can still talk hey. to him. And all of that, but and he still like makes little about? beeps. And I think you can, I think you can actually like get him to hey. carry stuff. Um, yeah, like trade some things. Um, actually, okay. So you can still use him as like a little bitty miniature pack mule. Um, but um, I don't think he attacks anything at this point. So this is what I'm testing now. Plus, I've added in a whole bunch more mods here. I can't, I can't seem to get away from mad mods. And. Um, here shortly I'm going to post up another playthrough test with a new load order and show you guys uh, one of the things I'm kind of looking into now, which are these previs pre-combined crashes. Um, that seems to be what I'm having now. I don't, I don't get loose file streams anymore since I kind of stopped doing a, a lot of auto scans and turned all that stuff off. Um, so, uh, all right, so let me, let me keep testing this out before she comes over here and starts unloading some, some stuff. Let me, um, let me start testing some more things out, and uh, I'll get back with you guys here in a little bit.